So if we are serving other gods beside our God, God knows because he can search the heart and he can know the secret of the heart. Amen. Let's go to Psalm 55. Psalm 55. Okay, good, 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 good. Let's read verse 12. Verse 12, very, very nice one. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me. Then I could bear it. Are you there? Psalm 55, verse 12. Are you there? Okay. For it is not an enemy who reproaches me. Some version says that if an enemy, my enemy, reproaches me, or fighting against me, or exalting himself against me, then I could bear it. He said, no, is it one who hates me, who has exalted himself against me, then I could hide from him. Then I could hide from him, but it was you, a man, my equal, my companion, and my acquaintance, we took sweet counsel together and walked to the house of God in the throne. Amen. Do you understand what David was saying? He's trying to say that even if your enemy is trying to work against you, eh, trying to exalt himself against you, you can endure it. If he talks I mean, harsh ways to you, insult you, disgrace you in public, you can endure because you know he doesn't like you. You understand? But your companion, somebody who has been with you in the church, you have walked together, you have shared sweet fellowship. That's what some versions say. Sweet fellowship in the house of God. If an enemy, somebody who doesn't like you, want to rise against you, you can rise run away from him. That's what the Bible is saying. You can hide from him. But then he said, it was you, my own companion. We have walked together to the house of God. We have shared sweet fellowship together. And if you go further, somewhere he says something. He said something that let's go to verse 20. 21. Are you there? Yeah. The words of his mouth were smoother than butter, but war in his heart. His words were softer than oil, yet they were drawn swords. Huh? Do you hear? Do you hear? Yeah. Hello? Hi. We are going to close, so don't worry. Did you hear what he said? His ways were smoother than butter. His ways were even softer than oil, but they were drawn sauce. In his heart, there was war. Hmm? I know somebody here. In, in Helsinki. When the person says, oh, what's up, Penny? Oh. But the same person is forming a council and talking some crap, 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 crap against me. Not that I've done anything evil because I've done something good. Calling somebody to preach in the church. So I have a problem. And when you see me, oh, what's up, Penny? means senior pastor, senior priest, or whatever. And I said to myself, next time this man does this in public, I will tell him, this is hypocrisy. <laughs> this is hypocrisy because you don't mean what you are saying. In your heart, it is not like that. This is hypocrisy. And when you tell the truth like this, people will say he's arrogant. But it's truth. And truth will always be bitter, but it heals. Maybe from that day, if I will be able to speak it, it will change. 
So people of God, as we tell you today, pure in heart, let our heart correspond with our mind and our mouth. You, you get what I'm trying to say. The things that we say, let your way that words that you say mean those things. You understand? If you are promising, mean your promise. Speak out. Even Jesus says that the, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. But if you are speaking what is not out of your heart, it, 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 it's not contrary to even what Jesus has said, and Jesus will punish you. Yeah, because he said, out of the abundance of the heart, mouth speak. But you, what you speak is different from what is inside your mouth. What is inside your mouth? I remember somebody told me when I was in South Africa, a lady, he said that he could send even love text messages to people. But he doesn't mean it. <laughs> and I was, I was laughing. Yeah, and she was busy saying this. She could send messages, you know. And she doesn't mean it. So <laughs> if you are one of them who received that message and go there, you are in trouble. <laughs> you see, so this tells you how people can, I mean, deceive people. So the Bible says that the heart is deceptive. It's deceitful. But... As children of God today, may our heart not deceive anyone. Amen. Amen. May we love people with our heart. How you are correspond with your heart. Amen. Amen. The way you are, let people be, trust you. Do you understand? Trust you and believe that how you are out, that's how you are inside. There shouldn't be, you shouldn't be two people. Hmm? You are two. Some people, they are two, they are one, but they are two. You understand? His inside is different from his outside. He's different. He can talk nice, oh, talk nicely, you know, and you know, and you say, oh, that man is very humble man. Who told you? He's inside more than a lion. More than a lion. Crooked. Hatred. Blessed are the pure in heart. Hallelujah. And the, the one who is blessed, who shall bless? No one can curse. May God richly bless you. May your heart remain pure as you enjoy the blessings of the Lord. Shalom and peace of God be with you. Amen. Let us pray. May we be on our feet. May we be on our feet. And I, I don't know how you heard the word. I want you to open your mouth.